Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm on the Biscayne Bay in Invincible's 40 Cat. Now this is a proven performer with four Mercury 400 outboard motors on it. And in our early testing, we made nearly 75 miles per hour. In addition to being a speedy fishing boat, this one is an efficient fisher as well. And I'm gonna walk you through it right now, starting here at the helm. Now, Invincible builds a beautiful helm station on their boats. This one's got dual 24-inch Garmin displays on it and room for a row of VHF radios and a Mercury Vessel View gauge. I like the fact that you've got this little fiddle rail here that keeps your phones all handy and there's charger ports all along the dash. All your switches are down here below the wheel as well as your circuit breakers. It's handy and you don't need to go hunting for them. Now, you've got Mercury controls, super smooth, and you have the ability, should you opt for an upper station, to change stations at the touch of a button. Now, the helm station is protected by this hard top, and you look at the structure, you realize how sturdy Invincible has made it. Also, you've got the acrylic windshield in special rails in there, and it's all one solid tight unit that in rough riding doesn't shake or rattle one bit. I like the fact that you've got these ladder steps up here. That's in preparation for an upper station. It's also a nice style point. Now the helm station is equipped with a double row of LeBrock seats. They have flip up bolsters and fold down armrests. Now the rigging station behind the back row of seats is a thing of beauty. First, you've got this rigging table here with three compartments for tools and you've got leader hangers on either side. Down below, you've got a drawer got a box for utility boxes and another drawer. Take a look at this box on the starboard side of the leading post and there's one more on the port side. Now down below you've got a pull-out cooler that serves as a seat that gives you comfortable riding out to the fishing grounds. But here's another thing I noticed. Look at how conveniently these rod holders are placed. They're high enough to keep everything out of the way but low enough that you can reach them. Now, in addition to the rocket launchers overhead, you've got three rod holders in the rigging station. There's six in the transom for shotgun rods. You've got nine in each gunnel. That's a great setup. Now, on the transom, you've got two 60-gallon live wells. And on the starboard deck, you've also got an in-floor live well for 70 gallons. Now, all these live wells are fed by a sea chest to keep a steady flow of water to them so your bait is safe and ready when you get to the fishing grounds. Now, if you don't think you have enough rod storage on board, take a look at the center console. You've got 10 along here. You've got tip tubes up there in the hard top so that you can stick them through and store rods as long as you want. And now, let's take a look at the forward seating. Now, Invincible pays plenty of attention to comfort in their boat. This is a fish box here, and it's double wide, but check out the lounge on top. You've got fold-down armrests. I like the way this is contoured to give you a nice, secure ride but lift up the lid, you've got an enormous compartment here and it's divided. You can use part of it for ice and drinks, part of it for fish, or use it for dry storage as well. You've got one on the port side, just as large. Now to complete the seating package, you've got a pair of jump seats on the transom. Another nice feature of this boat is the port side boarding door. It's great for a tuna door when you're bringing in big fish and it's ideal for reboarding when you're diving. I like the integrated ladder below. You don't have to go hunt for it, and you don't have to hang it. Now, in addition to the coffin box, you've got fish storage in the floors. On either side of the leaning post is a fish box, and on either side of the lounge is a fish box. Forward to that, you've got dry storage. Now, there's more dry storage in the bow here on either side of the optional windlass. Now, one thing Invincible does to make their boats great is offer you lots of options. I like the rigid light bar at the top of the hard top. You've also got your choice of Rupp or Gemlux outriggers. This one happens to have carbon fiber riggers on board as well. One other great option that they offer is forward fresh and raw water cleanup. That's ideal when you've got the windlass, but you also have standard midship fresh and raw water as well. I like the little hangers underneath. They're convenient and reliable. In addition to the soft ride that a catamaran gives you, you've got spacious deck space, a large casting deck here, lots of room for fishing action up here, and you've already seen the cockpit and the wide walkways along either side of the console. 
You've also got dry storage under the helm station, and that's an enormous compartment that gives you access to the dashboard for maintenance. You've even got room for a porcelain head. The Invincible 40 Cat brings you an awesome ride that only a catamaran can bring. It also gives you incredible deck space, plenty of fishing action, and comfort. I'm Randy Vance on Invincible's 40 Cat.